Without any further delay, guys, I do have, as I stated, two individuals who are here in studio with me. All right, and I'm, I'm really excited about this conversation. It, it's it's long overdue. I, we, we ended up delaying it in about a week because of some scheduling issues. But at the end of the day, I just want to say that I'm excited about these two gentlemen, these dis, these these distinguished and important pillars of the community here in the city of Jacksonville. They are none other than my good brother, brother Blue Francois, and also the man himself, Bishop Joel Robinson. All right, they are in the building. And so, gentlemen, first of all, I just want to welcome y'all to Impact. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you so much, bro. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for being here. And we're going to start off with Brother Blue Francois because, guys, Brother Blue Francois, I, I call him a brother because that's what I consider him to be. I mean, brother. Uh, it's, 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 it's been some years in the making. And so, first of all, Blue, just shout out to you, man, and your continued uh, dedication to the craft as 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 a content creator. Mm -hmm. um, you, you've been that for so long. And before the the phrase was even popular let's be real <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know we, we we coined these phrases and we 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 coined these monikers uh and, and and these 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 adjectives that we attach to the profession and the craft right but you're an artist in and of your own right so uh shout out to you blue francois the celebrity photographer that's me yes sir <laughs> so, so welcome to impact once Thank again you. Thank and you. uh for those of our, our listeners and our uh, also, our social media uh, um, audience who may not know you, man, introduce yourself, present yourself uh, to, to our audience, man, and talk about what you do, man, and what you have coming up. Man. Yeah, um, my name is Blue Francois. I am a photographer. Um, I love working with business owners or people who have um, organizations or even just someone that want to create content. Mm -hmm. Like that's my uh, that's my neck. Like I, I like taking pictures. I like capturing people's essence. I like make, making people feel important. Yes, and I just like you know I just like to show people who they who I see them as. You know yes, what I'm saying? Sir. So um, so yeah. I'll, you know I I I I'll, if people don't know who I am, just look up at billboards or look in your know, magazines or you know I work with a lot of a lot of people in the city and um and I've done so for years. So um and I and I, I like the reputation that I built because I, I worked hard on it. Yes, sir. And and I can say personally from, from my own experience with you guys, this guy is an amazing, not just a man, but an amazing artist. I, I say an artist because yeah. you are so creative, man. Appreciate and, it. And not just in the photos that you take of me, but I've seen, <laughs> I've seen others and I continue to see countless 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 examples of your work yeah and, and through the years talk about that man about the the consistency i would say it's, it's consistency but talk about the the grind almost as an entrepreneur and and from from where you started so to speak to to over the years how yeah. you built that name yours um man i um persistence is something i learned from my mother and my father my my father is a he was from the bahamas he came over he he brought our family over. My mother, she's um, she's uh, hearing impaired. She couldn't hear, but um, when we first got here, we was well off, mm -hmm. and we experienced um, poverty in the sense of like just things happening. But through it all, my father continued to be a father and took care of the responsibility that he had to, no matter what we went through. Yes, sir. And I saw that, and I said, "Wow, you know." Yeah. And then my mother. She um, she she was hearing impaired, but because she couldn't hear that well, um, she still found a way to make a living. Mm -hmm. She she would find jewelry, she would sell it, and yeah. she would bring us. Yeah. Uh, she would set up. She'll set. She'll, she'll set up all the jewelry in the van, yes, and then she'll sell it. And I'm and I'm watching my mom hustle. Yes, sir. You know, what I'm saying it wasn't called hustling. It was yes, sir. she was yes, like sir. trying to provide. Yes, she was just like, look, you know, you know, my father was out working, cutting yards, fixing yes, cars, sir. fixing on houses, yes, and my mom. You know, she couldn't really naturally get a job because at that time, you know, uh, I'm 44. Yes, sir. And so that's like late 90s. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, they're not employing someone that's, I'm not going to say handicapped, but that mm -hmm. couldn't hear. So it was yes, like, sir. hey, well, you know, if y'all not going to hire me, I'm going I'm to I'm make it happen. Find a way. <laughs> I'm going to find a way. So as I watched that, I was like, I need to find a way to. Yes, sir. To, you know, get what, you know, get by, you know. Yes, sir. <laughs> so. Yeah. And that entrepreneurial spirit, it's all over yeah. you, man. And it's all over your work. 
And so, and, and, and you're a father as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm a father, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. So talk about how that entrepreneurial spirit and that drive for you, talk about how that's influenced you in fatherhood as well. Well, you got mouths to feed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's so funny. Um, my father... Uh, was a minister and he was um he was on another radio station i never had a desire to be in radio yes, sir. but just watching my father like he will always listen to uh, messages and and uh, he will always listen to um gospel mahalia jackson yes, sir. Come on. and so i used to be like you know he's you know i used to be like how can you just sit there and just listen to that <laughs> but as i got older i listened to messages yes, i listened to sir. old spirituals yes, and so so to answer your question as an entrepreneur when things get tough yeah. I, I I listen to like you know I'll sit there and hit put on my headphones and listen to Bible scriptures all yes, night. <laughs> listen to yeah you know what I'm saying so yes, so as an entrepreneur I um I go through a lot of struggles mm-hmm. and I don't even um, acknowledge them a lot like something could just my whole week could just be thrown off yes, and I don't even acknowledge it I just kind of say you know what I got to figure it out yes sir and so yes, sir. so with my daughter. Um, and with my family, it's like I have to figure it out. So as an entrepreneur, I try to focus more on what can I do when things don't go right. Yes, sir. And I um and I try to look at the good because um the uh, maybe yesterday, I was just thinking I have a camera that's maybe eight years old, and I said, you know what? I, I was like, God, thank you for this camera, Man. because oh, it never failed oh, me. <laughs> Oh, faithful. You know, every now and then the battery might go die, I might die, or, or something might not work. But for my camera to be seven years old, like it's still, I'm 12 years old, it still gets the job done. I'm like, man, I haven't had to have a chance, you know, because the camera now, they're like three or four grand yes, of what I need. Yes, sir. And they're not doing payment yes, plans unless sir. you got good credit. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, and, and, you know, and, and what that, and me, and, and I can relate to that. Oh, yeah, music. From, from, from having instruments like I got I got a drum set at home right now that I've had for about 15 years and I I think about sometimes like how I have I I have other drum sets right yeah. but that one right there yeah. has held it down <laughs> <laughs> and you, you like you 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 you're in these situations and and you, we go on we move and we move and we doing this doing that and we really don't stop sometimes to stop and think about the significance mm-hmm. of that yeah. consistency yeah. Of, of, of the tools that we use yeah. and the way that that's provided. You know, yeah. those tools are money, man. Yeah. For, for a mechanic, it's the, his literal tools. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's amazing, man. Uh, so coming up, man, what, what's, what's, what's next for Blue, the photographer? Um, um. What's next for me? I um, I realize I want to get back into things that I truly love, mm-hmm. and um, I, um, a couple of years ago I came across John C. Maxwell. Okay, come on. When he teaches, he t- he talks about leadership. Yes, sir. And he talks about serving people, and and so when I'm talking to new photographers mm-hmm. or or just business owners, they be like, "What? How can I? How can I do this? How can I do that?" So you're gonna have to serve people more, cause that's how I got to where I'm at, serving people. Yes, sir. And a lot of people don't understand that, like. Like, you know, I um, I pay attention to, like, armor bears. Like, there's some armor bears in the city yes, that sir. started out, they was the person that would fetch in the water, bring in the yes, towels. Sir. and yes, But now when I look at them, they, like, here. Like, they yes, they on top of the game in the yes, ministry sir. and or in, yes, in the community. And I'm like, yes, but they used to be the armor bears. Yes, and so people don't understand that you got to, you're going to have to serve people. You're going to have to put in that work, put in that sweat equity. Sweat equity. And, and I feel like I did that a lot because when I first started, I was... I, it wasn't that I was great, but the person who taught me, I served him. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he was a grown man. And, you know, people would be like, you know, you don't, you don't run up after no, another man like that. And I was like, hey, man, I'm trying to get somewhere. Yes, sir. I got, I got whatever this man need, yes, I'm going to get it to him because once it's my time, it's going to be yes, my sir. time. And I ain't yes, looking sir. back. Yes, sir. And so a lot of people have to understand that in order to be great in your business and with your family, you got to serve them. And you got to serve people around you, even if you don't even see the, the immediate benefit serving people man listen because we're gonna take a break in the- <laughs> <laughs> so get to this yeah 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 but, yeah but the thing is really quick in this social climate and really it's not just domestic it's like a global thing mm-hmm. uh and it's created by the the instant post of social media yeah right? what is it to that to that young photographer 
who's coming up or the young or how old the inexperienced photographer who's getting into the game now. Yeah. Service is one thing. Give give them one more thing that they could take them with that you would give them that you say that <sighs> to, to really take hold of. Uh. I don't know. I'm going to have to answer your question. I'm not Jesus, but I'm going to have to answer your questions in parables. Okay. Um, to the to anybody who's starting out, not, not even just photography, just know that Drake rented a Maybach for a couple of weeks until he faked it, until he made it. Yes, and so sir. as a photographer, when I first started, I used to tell people that I was the... I used to call myself the master photographer, and I haven't mastered nothing. Come so on. when I first came out, I used to tell them, I'm a master for fashion photographer. I'm a master this. And I didn't know what I was doing. And I figured it out. You sold the dream. I sold the dream. They Man. bought it. <laughs> Listen, this is yeah. the ultimate. That's, yeah. a, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's man. Confidence. Yeah, confidence. Yeah, so, and, and you know, and, and people, and believe it or not, I, I study a lot of things that people didn't teach me um, in when I, when I when I when I was growing up in church I studied a lot on my own just reading the Bible yes. but I noticed that um, Jesus was the biggest I, I tell people this all the time Jesus was the biggest marketer yes sir he didn't he didn't promote himself that he didn't say I did this I, right. he didn't he didn't he didn't promote hey well um i could do yes, this sir. i can heal you yes, um yes, you know sir. my father's yes, you know sir. my father's up in heaven what he did was he served and blessed and healed people yes, and those people marketed him promoted yes, him yes, and, and told of his works yes, sir. and and so that's what i do like I, i'll do something amazing with somebody and let them market me Man. so if you young and just starting out in, in any kind of business you have to market yourself, but you got to bless people, help people. Yes, you got to do what Jesus did. Yes, sir. Y'all, listen. WWJD, what would you do, sir? Ah, <laughs> listen, y'all, it's about 847. We're going to take a quick break. I'm here with my good friend and brother, brother, Blue Francois. Yes, thank you. The master photographer. <laughs> Salute. <family> photographer. <laughs> He's in the building, y'all. If you listen to via Facebook, man, y'all go ahead and share this. And if you listen to this later, share it. 